Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in our Let's Build series. Last time we finished up the For Honor inspired hall and you guys loved it. I'm super happy with that build and I'm really glad you guys all enjoyed that one. Uh, today though, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start developing the town a little bit. We uh, only have like one house, couple buildings, and we gotta change that. So we're gonna use this area here. We're gonna do a little bit of terraforming and we're gonna build ourselves like a medium sized house. So let's get started.
Okay, before I go too far, I just want to talk about what we've done. So, uh, I've just laid out the basic design of this thing. We offset the door quite a bit off to one side compared to the other, and just to give it a different look. Now, we're gonna have a little bit of a balcony out here. Uh, that's why we want more on this side. Now, uh, this piece back here, we're gonna actually gonna have a door to the back that actually goes underneath all this stone. So we're actually gonna dig a basement in this eventually, but uh, that'll be in a little bit. So I've done the roof, and as you've probably seen, I overlaid the front again. Now I know everyone's gonna ask me how to do this, so let's just go through this really fast. I'm gonna build a roof. Uh, let's just do it like this. And then I'm gonna put an X on it. Okay, so this is the roof we just did. Now, uh, I'm gonna put one of these little pieces out the front. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to snap to that piece, right? So it's gonna snap there. And because this X is a half block, if I snap it to that piece there, we're gonna get a, oh, come on. Right there. We're gonna get an overhang, half a tile off the front. And my second piece here is gonna be half a tile off the side. So that's how we get the roof to do what I've just done. Okay, so this edge piece, it is mostly just for looks. Uh, you can see I've gone ahead here. I've put the smaller X's between, left a little design in here. It's kind of similar to what we did on the roof over there. So there's a little gap between them, right? Uh, all the way around. It just adds a little bit a little bit of an extra detail to it. It's floors underneath, on the underside, floors on the top. Uh, let me jump up here to show you. So it's floors on the top. And then our walls are just gonna go in as, as normal. And all this does is add a little bit of a an extra like piece of depth to it and what i really want to do is if they ever give it to us i want to put like flower pots and stuff around here right that's the whole point of this so what we'll do is we're going to leave uh 
probably, I might do, see how I can snap this to the center one here. I might do like a really large window offset here, uh, maybe in the center. But for now, I'm going to do an offset like that. So there's going to be one and a half tiles open there for a big window. And then this will go to here. Now, unfortunately, this roof over here, I wish these peaks were actually like a 60 degree. Because I kind of want them to be like up one more ish so we're gonna do another we'll do a half wall here that should tie it in yeah that should be there and then from here we'll put our roof okay you guys are gonna hate me a little bit but i've decided to change the ground level a little bit here so initially what i did is i didn't put stone out front because i wanted to put like a garden area here and this will still work but what i wanted to do is change this up so what i've done is the walls are basically the same on the inside um, you can see they're half walls now, but you could use them as full walls. It doesn't matter. And all I did was I put a stone, uh, what do you call it here? Uh, the stone floor. And then I put one of these two by one walls on top of it on the back. And then I snapped the half walls or whatever to the back of the stone wall. And it actually works out that it overhangs just a little bit. So you can go through and I can break these if I want. And you'll be able to see the stone here if it, when it clears up. does you're gonna, you're gonna go away or there we go so there's stone there now uh or like i said these are snapped to it right so i snapped this just like so and then i wanted to hide the actual stone there. so you can use a full wall or whatever so basically all all this is doing is putting stone in front of the wall kind of and then what i've done is i've taken these little these little uh short ones the one by one one meter poles and every one of these i've snapped one to it in the wall you can hardly see it but just a little bit there's a little indent which i like and then I've lined the stone on top and bottom with these. And we're gonna do this all the way around. I think it just adds a little bit of extra detail and takes away from all the, all the wood.
All right, so the roof here is done. It overhangs by a fold off the front and off the back side there. Uh, a little bit off the front here, it overhangs by about a half of a tile. Now, if you were having trouble getting your roof to like work in the center here, what I did is on the back, I went ahead and I put um, these uh, beams up. So they're just cordwood beams, basically in all of, like the corner, that corner, and then every, well, it's two from the edge, three between them, and then two from the edge again. And then I went up and over with an X and down, and then we should put coral wood here as well, going all the way down. That's something we definitely need to do. Do I, I don't have any on me. We'll definitely do that though, just to help support all this. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna start working on the next part of this roof, which is another peak. So basically what I'm gonna have to do, uh, we're gonna break these for now. I wish we had half a tile. Like, I'd love to have this, but like half. Because <laughs> I want the floor to actually be in a different spot than where it's going to be. We'll make it work though. We'll make this work. So what we're going to do is we're going to put... Uh, hmm, how big is this going to be? Our second peak is pretty much done. Now you saw I filled in the gaps on the side here using uh, just extra beams holding uh, shift so I could just place them and they fill in pretty good. They'll be perfect. 
They're just there to basically be like patches. And then I put underneath here, I just framed this all nice, put these little supports in and it looks pretty good. And we have a large window and it is perfect. Now what we might have to do obviously is come in here and fill these parts of the roof in. Um, but we can also add another peak if we want it out the back and that would fill this in. I hate this sliding down these hills or the roof. Come on, stop right there. Now we might have to like fill this in uh, we could also, depending on what you want to do with the roof, you could also just put these back in and have it just as a look. It doesn't have to be a functional room or anything. All you'd have to do is put this back, you know, snap it back in there, click it right here, and you'd have this full, uh, full again. It wouldn't really matter. Um, or we could add this out the back side. Uh, so another option we have on the top here, we have these gaps we have to fill in. But what you can do is you can use this, uh, the 45 here. And if you just snap it to the center of the X, uh right i think that's i think that's it if i can get it on this side would be great to do like that and it's gonna it's gonna overhang on the inside but not a whole lot and we can definitely deal with that and then all you gotta do is put this other one back in before you slide all the way down the roof all right before i go any farther here uh i'm gonna head fill the upper roof We've added these beams and stuff here for a little bit of extra support and a little bit of a better look. Um, the stairs are in, and then I've added this window here. You can see we've got the upper level uh, thing here to do yet. I love the light, the light beams coming through, the light shafts coming through, that's so cool. And then we have to fix all this yet and obviously add whatever we're gonna add to this floor. Uh, one thing to remember about this balcony is these two here will not be covered, so they will not count as having a roof. So they're always gonna be this green color and they're gonna have um like you can't put a workbench or anything underneath them because there's no technical roof there so just something to be aware of we have to come through with the edge all this put a railing through here yet clean all this stuff up we might fix these two pieces that stick up here but before i do any of that what i want to do we're gonna take this we took this wall out here and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna sink our fire pit in here so we're gonna put a hearth and we're gonna use these um stone pieces here so it's gonna be like this and then we'll put our hearth in the center of them kind of like so we're gonna move all that wood that's there so we'll probably we'll probably bring it in a little bit so it's like a little bit inside you know something kind of like this but the biggest part of this is once we do the outside we're gonna have to for now i'm just gonna put this like that one of those now what i want to do though is i want this to be an entryway to a basement so what we're going to do is we're actually going to have to add uh, a little bit of stone kind of out on the outside here. And this piece right here is going to be our way down. So I'm going to have to dig this out and then we're going to, we're going to probably add a few pieces to the back of this to make it look a little bit nice or whatever. But basically I want these pieces. Uh, I might break that and put these underneath if I can. Once we dig it out, we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure that out. But I'm gonna have to dig this out and then reinforce as we go because I wanna have most of this, not all of it, but a big chunk of this area here, I wanna have it dug out as kind of like a wine cellar type thing. Um, so I wanna work on that and work on reinforcing this. So give me a minute and I'll show you guys how I'm doing it.
Okay, fire pit's pretty much done. Now what we could do is we could take a few more pieces here and we could snap it like this. Um, which I don't mind, but I think it makes this a little bit too small. So for now, I'm gonna leave this open like so. I don't think that's a bad look. Uh, it definitely adds a little bit so, uh, to, the, to the actual build, having a nice big fire pit. And then I put these little walls in, these little half walls with a little uh, shelf here. We'll put something on there and make this look pretty. Um, from here though, I think all we've got left to do is a bunch of detail work. I need to go through and make sure all this stuff is done, lined. Uh, I want to put these kind of things all the way through. I want to fix the windows. Uh, the back here, this all needs to be terraformed and fixed up a little bit. And then what I want to do is I started doing it here, but I put these iron um, poles going up. And I want to go all the way to the top with it. Just because it you can kind of see right here, there's a bit of a crack right there. And I want to make sure that that's covered. And the best way to do that is just to put a, a wood lining all the way up. And it helps for some, for some support. Um, but I think this looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend some time detailing and I'll come back when this, uh, when this build's done. Well guys, I think I'm pretty much done with this build. So let's do a bit of a tour. Uh, basically on the outside here, I did a bunch of landscaping, kind of made this all fit. So we have like our walkway that goes in towards our tavern here. And then obviously like this will continue to be like the way out of town. So I figured, you know, it's not a huge house, but I mean, it's a decent sized one. So we need a couple fireplace, uh, whatever you call it in the front door here. So all I did was put a pillar here and apparently fireplace or uh, fire pits work on top of stone pillars, which is awesome. So then I just lined it with wood just to kind of give it that like more complete feel. You can see it sticking out in spots, but no big deal. So up here, one thing I wanted to do with this build, you'll notice that like these are, these beams are really sticking out because what I wanted to do was really define it. So I took the beams and I actually pulled them out uh, using shifts, so not perfect. But I, I pulled them out a little bit so that way they like were really defined and sticking out and they gave a really good definition here. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of the buildings in uh, World of Warcraft where they have that real deep definition. Uh, I think it gives a nice a nice look. Over here I kind of planted like some turnips and whatever on the outside. We run around here and we put all these little beams in just to kind of give it a little bit more of detail. It's a bit much on the sides. We probably could take about half of these out. But I, I'm not too worried. For now I think it looks all right. So let's uh, check out the inside. So in here we have, I think it's a comfort level of like 12. I went a little crazy. So let's start here. We got a little bit of a kitchen. We've got a couple of fermenters here. Now I was able to, let me just turn this back on. I was able to sink the workbench in here and it still works, which is awesome. So we've got uh, our workbench here. Beside it, we just put like um, those half, half floors. So I kind of get like a, it's almost like a sink, but not really a sink. Uh, and then we've got like a, the tool, the forge tool rack. The forge is kind of tucked in the corner and then just like a bunch of like storage. So it's like your pantry type area. And then uh, our, our um, what do you call it? Our fire pit here looks really good. It's all sunk in nicely. Kind of like gives a lot of like light to the room and a lot of definition to the room. We've got our nice table, a couple of wards up top. I really, the stone cutter, if you don't know what it is, it almost looks like an ironing rack, which is kind of funny. So I put these in a few spots just because of the fact it looks like someone's working on like clothing or something here. Um, and then I put I put uh, some of the large chairs here. I, I kind of wanted to put a smaller table. I was going to make one, but I thought, I don't know, I don't know how to do like what I want to do here. But I was kind of thinking like these guys are like, you know, in the corner, like, like playing chess or something, you know. And then just like always, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit dirty. You got some stuff just kind of kicking around. Um, we should put some more rugs in here maybe. And then obviously I open this up so it's a few more windows here. And this window I took out and I put a door there which we'll go through in a little bit. Now up here, I kind of just defined it a bit with some railing and whatever. This window, like I said, we did made before, it's just like, I wanted lots of windows here, like lots of open space. Uh, another table, another like for doing laundry, I guess, up here, uh, the stone cutter. <clears throat> Giant bed. And I didn't want to like close the bed in because I figured like the Viking thing, it's kind of like, Spartans, they're like open, like everything's open, right? So this to me was kind of cool to have like the bed wide open to like this balcony. And I think that's really cool. And it's, it's, I think having an offset like this makes it really like interesting. So to me, this turned out really, really, really good. Again, a couple more chairs up here. This is where you come up here to like, you know, your morning or your evening activities, whatever. And then uh, up top here, the very top, basically it's just like storage, like a bunch of scattered space. Um, if we, we could fill this in with another roof, but I didn't want to stick out the back. And all I did here was just make a floor, kind of like if you wanted to tuck some stuff up in there, whatever. And then again, uh, just a lookout here with some more storage. And the whole storage thing was just because 
I think like I needed to fill this and I think it kind of gives like more like you can put stuff up there if you wanted but I think this turned out really really good again we just need more things to like fill stuff and then the best part of the build in my opinion we come out here I took the stone out just so we could walk and this is all kind of like it's all terraformed decently uh, I planted a few trees around which haven't grown yet but uh, if we go downstairs here we've got our our wine cellar that's full of fermenters and lots of extra cups and stuff we got some some potions kicking around down here we've got uh like a table so if you were like having the boys over you could have a few drinks down here you know uh i made this so like it's a little bit big obviously but i wanted to be like this is where your wine racks is so you can put your wine bottles in some of these spots uh, i wanted to go to the roof but it, it just didn't work the way i wanted it to so for now it's whatever We've got tons of wine. We've got some things fermenting in the corner here. I got some Queen's Jam kicking around back there. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think our cellar turned out really, really good. And then having this door here is kind of nice just to be able to get back in and out. So that, uh, guys, is my newest house build. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more, make sure you do so. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time.